thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 26. In the beginning of the chapter, it speaks of the blessings to obedience to God, goes on to talk about curses to disobedience, and then the answer is in verse 40 to the end of the chapter, repentance and confession. Today I wanted to speak a little bit about confession of sin, but before I do that, I wanted to speak about obedience to God and His Word. Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 33, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. If you read those scriptures and many others throughout the Bible, we read that we will prosper and be blessed in this world and life as we are obedient to God. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself told us in the Gospel of John chapter 14, verse 23, that if we truly love him, we'll obey his commands. The epistle of 1 John chapter 3, verse 21 and 22 John spoke about how our hearts will not condemn us if we're obedient to God. We'll have a clear conscience in life of what we're doing, what we're saying, if we're truly being obedient to God and His Word. There is so much that is, can be said about obedience, but the bottom line is, is there's many times when we're not obedient to God. Romans chapter 14, verse 23 tells us that whatever is done without faith is sin. How many times we worry, we're anxious about the things in this world, what's going on around us, our health, our relationships. That is sin. James chapter 4 verse 17 tells us, whatever we know what is right to do and we don't do it, that is sin. Oftentimes in life we think the sins are the biggies. Commission sins, things that we do. Adultery, murder, stealing, and that is true. But sinning in omission, what that means is not doing what we should be doing feeding the homeless, helping those that are weak, coming alongside those that are mourning and grieving in life, that is also a sin. And I think of how often I am guilty of this. But as I said before, my brothers and sisters, in Leviticus chapter 26, starting in verse 40 to the end of the chapter, the answer is confession of sin. Obedience to God is evident in our lives if we're repentant and confessing of sin. You hear me oftentimes say, and I'm seeing this in my own personal life, and I can share this. I'll be 55 years old soon. I've been saved since 1985 when I was just about 19 years old. And as I'm getting older chronologically and also spiritually, I could say from my heart, honestly and humbly, I am seeing the need more and more of my life for confession of sin and repentance. A lot of times in life you think that when Christians get older, they become more like Moses, saints, holy, reverent people. And it's true. We are to be sanctified. And 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 tells us, when I was a child, I thought as a child, but when I grew older, I put childish ways behind me. Yes, there's to be growth. But that growth will be seen many times as you get older in the spiritual life. And not that you see how holy you are, but actually sometimes you start to see yourself for how sinful you really can be. You become more and more sensitive to sin in your life and your need for repentance and your need for confession of sin. Confession, repentance of sin is, and you often hear me say this, is so important. John the Baptist in Matthew chapter three, verse two, and even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter four, verse 17, both started their public ministries with repentance Luke chapter 13, verses 1 to 5. Without repentance, nobody is going to be saved. The evidence of salvation, that we're obedient to the Lord, one of the evidences is repentance, turning away from sin, turning from sin and turning to God, to Jesus Christ. Remember it, brothers and sisters. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6 tells us that even our righteous deeds are like filthy rags in God's sight. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9 tells us that all of us, all of us, not the politician, not the bad police officer, not the uh, uh, abusive parent, all of us are, have deceitful and wicked hearts by nature. This is why we need to repent daily. Confession of sin. When I was in the 12-step program for recovery from drugs and alcohol many years ago, one of the principles I remember was that the first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. 
Admitting you have a problem, brothers and sisters, is so important. Confessing your sin, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9 tells us if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13 tells us that if we confess our sins, we will find mercy. But if we try to cover it up, conceal it, we will not prosper. So I hope today, my brothers and sisters, we learn, yes, there's obedience to ble blessings to obedience. That'll be evident, my friends, as we read in Leviticus chapter 26, verses 40 to the end of the chapter, in confession and repentance of sin. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. Lord, your word tells us in James chapter 1, verse 22, that we're not to just be hearers of the word, but doers. Help us to be doers of your word, Lord God. Remind us, as you tell us in John 15, verse 16, Lord God, that through your son, Jesus Christ, you chose us to bear fruit. Help us to bear fruit in this day, I ask in Jesus' name. God bless you all.